Hey. Hey, what are you doing here? Bad time? No, I, I'm just surprised to see you. You okay? I'm fine. I'm a little embarrassed. Whoa, 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 wait. You shouldn't be. Frank should no, be. No, no, don't. Don't, Ricky. I, I know you're trying to help, but Frank's never done. Right. Frank, he's a prince. You don't know him the way I do. We've all been under a lot of stress with Eve's memorial. Hey, wait, 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 wait. Look, you don't have to explain. I just came here to make sure that you're okay. Yeah, I'm fine now. Really. He's fine. We're both fine. Fine. Thing is, I don't believe you. Just a minute. Early again. <sighs> Mrs. Hurley, I've told Frank. Kevin, I'm sorry, but I had to come. Uh, no, it's all right. Actually, I thought you were a patient. Well, I am now. What is it? I need your help, Kevin. Please, something is wrong with me. I don't know what it is, but something is seriously, horribly wrong. Look, this really isn't any of your business. I was there last night. It becomes my business. Look, you have no right to judge Frank based on one lousy incident. Karen, this isn't the first incident for me and Frank. Remember? I mean, the guy wanted to give me a brand new face because I couldn't answer questions about Casey. Fine. Maybe you don't like him, and maybe you have good reasons, but... Yeah, I, you're damn right I but do. But I... I happen to love him. And I've known him since we were this high, and the Frank you saw is not the Frank I know. Then who was he? I'm not here to try and mess up your life, okay? I've just seen things. Lots of things. Meaning? You can't always count on your boyfriend mellowing out like Frank did last night as the night goes on. They don't always get warm and Wait fuzzy. Wait How do you know what happened afterwards? I, I just... I, you were watching, I, weren't you? Karen, You stayed I, outside until you knew I was safe. Why are you looking at me like that? So I hung out for a little while. What did you want me to do? Just walk off and not care if Frank started wailing okay, on you? Okay, okay. Listen, maybe I have given you the wrong idea. About Frank? About you and me and that kiss. What, what kiss? It's I okay, didn't... it's okay. I know you miss Casey and you feel bad about losing wait, her. Wait a minute. You think that I'm into you? Like, you think that that's why I'm hanging around here to hit on you? Well, that's why you're here now. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Back up. Not that I don't think that you're hot and everything, okay, but... I... And you're really cool. I mean, how many people would just left me off the hook like that after I break another kitchen in the middle of the night? I guess I am pretty good with skillet. You should try cooking with it. Dr. Sanchez to pharmacy. <laughs> Dr. Sharon Sanchez to the pharmacy. The truth is that you gave me a chance to explain why I came for Casey's stuff. And that was really big for me. You know, I don't get very many breaks. You really miss her, don't you? Yeah, I do. I'm definitely not over her. And I know that you are Frank's girl. I just want to be your friend. And that's it. Well, I also want to watch your back when that psycho boyfriend of yours Ricky. is around. Look, so he hasn't blown a fuse on you yet. Okay, what if this isn't the only time? What if it's the first time? I've seen guys like this, and then it's, it starts with a screaming, and then they really get into it, and, and they... I'm just saying. I think you said enough. Your call. Dr. But now you know where to find me. Jennifer Tataro to Arthur What are you doing? I'm giving you my phone number. Let's see. I'll be your own personal Superman. If you ever have a problem, oh. you just call me, I'll put on my red cape, and I'll fly right over. Oh. Well, where's your S? Right there. Well, do me a favor and save the tights. You sure about that? Look. I know Frank. And whatever got into him last night, there's no way that's ever gonna happen again. Okay, just slow down and tell me what happened. I wish I knew. Okay, then tell me what you do know. Well, it all started last night. I don't know where this 
this feeling came over me. All of a sudden, I'm, I'm violent, angry. Okay. Can you remember what happened right before that? Uh, Karen, I, uh, I walked into the kitchen. They were going to kiss. Uh, what? Karen and who? Uh, Ricky, Ricky Garza. Gabriella's brother? Well, is that what upset you, was to see her with another man? It really wasn't anything. Karen explained it, it was nothing. And you believed her? Karen loves me, Kevin. I know that. What about Ricky? What did he do? Well, he left right after. And Karen and I, we, we, we were OK. Things were fine. At least I thought they were. Go on. Well, we, we talked it out, and then we, uh, we started dancing. Uh, Karen lit this candle, you know, romantic. And we started getting into it. And then something happened? Right after that, it was like I started burning up. Next thing I know, I was, I was screaming at her, pushing her. What happened then? I called her a whore. Frank, you, you have no idea, no clue whatsoever what triggered this feeling? I love her, Kevin with all my heart. But one minute, I was fine. And the next minute, I was looking at her, the woman I love. And I hated her. <sighs> you know, all, all she was doing was trying to get close to me. What, what could have made me say those things? What could have made me do that? So, you really don't think Frank will ever pull something like that again? No, I don't. Never. Didn't they ever tell you never to say never? Never. <gasps> okay, then. Okay. Look, um, I gotta go. Bye. I'm serious. If you ever have a problem, just call me, all right? I'm not trying to hit on you. Of course not. I'm not, okay? I just want to be your friend. I know you just lost one, a good one. Me too. I guess you're right. I could use a friend. We both can. Don't forget. Anytime, all right? Got it. I can. Bye. Hey. Frank. I've been looking for you. Everything okay? I just came from seeing Kevin. Collins? Mm -hmm. About? Me, last night. What happened? I had to. Somehow, talking about it, it, it made me even more sure that it's never going to happen again. You don't know how much I needed to hear that. Mm -hmm. I was so... Afraid. Yeah. I know. And I am going to spend as much time, do whatever it takes, Sorry, right now. No, Frank. We'll see about that. Something happened before, some connection. I just haven't seen it yet. A candle? We talked it out. And then we uh, started dancing. Karen lit this candle, you know, romantic. And we started getting into it. And then something happened? Right after that. It was like I started burning up. Next thing I know, I was, I was screaming at her, pushing her. Maybe there's a connection, but... Frank isn't the only one. Ian. I lit the candle in, and everything changed. There was a glow in the place. My sweet wife. It was as if she was there. And Lucy said something about father and Mary. 
Look, look, I, I, I went right through that door. I just left them alone in this room for like five minutes. And they must have gotten exposed to some candle because the next thing I know, I come back in here and they are going at it like, like little bunny rabbits right here on this couch. Oh, wait a minute. There's also Chris Ramsey. Somehow he must have gotten exposed to that same candle because in the recovery room, this female cop walks in. He's never seen her before ever in his life. And he jumps on her and they're doing whatever you do, that dirty dance and stuff right there. They didn't even know each other. I won. Everyone was overpowered by a feeling, something that they couldn't stop. After being around a candle. 